Hello everybody, this is Kevin and welcome back to Magic the Gathering Duels of the Planeswalkers 2013. When we left off, we completed the encounter of Spiraling Mana, just in the nick of time. And today we're going up against Cranko, which is a Goblin Lord. And we'll go ahead and use our Liliana deck, and since we haven't actually got to see it in an actual match. It looks like he has Siege Gang Commander in his deck. We have a Swamp, a Fume Spitter, Nighthawk, a Ghoul, a Demon, a Medallion, and a Troll. Track player reveals the number of cards from his hand equals the number of Swamps you control. You choose one of the player's discards that card. Uh, I'm not going to keep this though because we only have one land hand. And those are never good. So three, Fume Spitter, Shade, Crippling Blight, and Murder. Seems a lot better. And we're on the play. Oh, I didn't play my Fume Spitter. <sighs> okay. That's okay. It was just the first main phase I skipped. We have a second one. <laughs> I was a little worried there. Already making mistakes. Um, Cranko, the actual card is an M13 card. It's a 3-3. Three it's a legendary goblin that you tap to add for goblins in play. Uh, goblin Arson's dodge and we have it to one damage to our creature or player. So it's basically the same as our Fume Spitter. Well, let's just attack, see what he does. He may go ahead and sack it. But yeah, I was saying it puts goblins into play just by tapping it for equal to the number of goblins that he has in play. So he's going to block it and then hit us for one damage. That's fine. Trade our one drops. So we'll save our murder for his big creatures. Cranko's command, he gets two goblins, which is also an M13 card. And we just have a land, and we'll pass, because there's no reason to just give... Well... Nah, I don't think it's worth it right now. We'll save our removal, in case we need it later. We'll play our shade next turn. Because the shade alone can win the race, unless he has removal. 1-1 one, one haste, so he's going to hit us for 3. Of course, I don't know that we'll actually will win a race, because um, goblins can be pretty fast. With all these 1-1s one, on the board. And our shade's only a 1-1, one, one, unfortunately. But we're going to go ahead and play it. Get another swamp, thin out our deck a little bit. What's that card? This battle for dark creature gets minus one, minus one. I wouldn't mind picking that up this turn. We may end up going ahead and use the crippling just to uh, stop some damage, but we'll see. There's one damage to our creature player. Well, that's not fun. He's going to kill our dude. Not fun at all. And then hit us for another three. I probably will use the crippling blight to kill us 2 1, though. Hopefully we'll get another creature draw here. Land. Then it's a battlefield switch target, non artifact, non black creature, it can't be regenerated. Four, we have five lands, so that that'll work. Um I'm gonna destroy this one. So we're gonna use our crippling blight on the other one. Is our guy first strike? That's good, so we can block. So that'll help with the momentum shift there. And we still have our murder. So that, that card helped a lot. It's a good creature to draw. Haste, power and toughness equal the number of goblins on the battlefield, so it's a 2 2. 3 3 right now, actually. So is he going to attack? Might just attack with a 3 3, yeah. We're going to have to take it, unfortunately. But next turn, if he does it, we can destroy a goblin in response with a murder, and then block and kill him. So we'll just leave our guy untapped. Might get a two for one here. But if he plays another goblin, then it won't really matter. But Okay, he's playing a second one. Well, 
Let's just keep drawing those, why don't we? Okay, he's going to attack. Gonna kill one of them. And then block his 1 1 with first strike. And take four. No, we'll actually take three because he'll shrink and do the first strike damage. Well, if we can stabilize here, we need to draw a creature. There's a creature. No, it's not. Uh, reveals her hand and we we'll discard it. Alright, so we'll get rid of the card from his hand. Mm, can throw five damage at us. Give him double strike. So you're going to start creature player. Um, how many lands does he have? Four, so he can't play that yet. He could hit us for five with that. Um, I guess we need to get rid of this guy. And we can't attack this turn. Just have to sit here and block. See what he draws, see what he draws. Drew a land. He's gonna throw him at us. So we're gonna go to two. Attack, attack, attack. We can't even block because if he gets another land then he'll give his guys double strike and kill us. Uh, each opponent discards a card. Oh, that's is definitely a good card to draw. Get rid of his double strike stuff. Let's see. What is this? 2 1 flying. 2 1 first strike. We want to keep him open so we can block. I could use a Tendrils of Corruption right now. That is for sure. Takes a lot of life off of him. Two two battle crowd, so now we still can't attack. Need a tendrils of corruption is what we need. Got a murder. Uh can I attack? He might have haste guys, I really don't want to attack. I'll just wait, I'll just wait. So he plays a haste dude, then he can just swing. I wanna keep my first strike gun open. Got another land. He's not attacking. Need a tendrils. Need a tendrils. Just drawing land. All right. Well, just continue on, because he could just draw haste guys and kill us. I need some life gain or some, another creature or something. Corrupt would be nice. Target Coblin Control gets plus one zero and flying to in a turn. Sacrifice at the beginning of the next end step. That's fine, because he might try to fly over and I can kill him. And then he'll have to sacrifice. What's this do? Just a 3 2. So we'll just play this and wait. If he gives a dude flying, I can trade it with my flyer. And then kill his dude, maybe? I don't know, we'll see. Well, I don't know that I really want to do that. If I just use murder on his dude, then his guy can't get flying. Because I'll be forced to block if he gives it flying. So you have to tap that. He has to tap it. Um, I'll go ahead and use it, I suppose. Um, I guess I'll just go ahead and attack. Well, I think I already missed my attack. No, I didn't. Don't want to play it too safe, I guess. I gotta kill him at some point. I would have already hit him for like six damage if I was doing this, so. Guess I gotta start attacking. Hopefully I can draw some life gain. He just gotta land, so we're good for now. Got a dude. That is relevant. That is definitely relevant. So I'll attack in the air again. Um, do I want to attack with my 2-1? If he blocks, it'll kill one. 
Didn't even kill my other dude. Hmm, I'll just do this, because next turn I can start making them walls where they can't do anything. Well, as long as he doesn't draw another goblin grenade, it'll be okay. Or a siege gang commander. He's just drawing land, so we're alright right now. Got a dude. Let's see, he cost five, he can't block. What's going on? I want to look at my card. My card, please. Um, Defender. Can't use its abilities. So I suppose I'll do that at the end of the turn. Five. You can go ahead and play him. And let's attack for two more in the air. Hmm. Well, don't want to attack with him. No, because I'm going to shrink his dudes, and I'll just be able to attack the next turn. Draw more blanks. Draw more blanks. Another land. Stop timer, because he's not attacking. Um, see, he's a 2 2. Power and toughness. We'll go ahead and give him defender. I think it says he can't attack or block. Is that what it is? Oh, defender and colorless and activated abilities can't be used. Okay, so he can't attack. Uh, we can gain some life off this. This is good. Make us a little bit safer. And I guess we can start attacking because he can't attack. He has one attacker. Um, we don't really care if he dies. He can't block anyway. He can block for us. Mm, and this will attack in the air. Yeah, we'll do this. So he's going to trade those. And take two. Alright. Don't draw a another goblin grenade and we'll be okay. It's just a 3-2. Okay. Um, go ahead. And turn your 3-2 to a wall, so he can't attack. Got another land. Got our dude back, which lets us play our dude again. Forgot about that, that's good. So even when we get lands now, they're actually relevant. Okay, so we have a 3-2 first strike. Mm, stops this guy from attacking, so we'll attack with this one. This one. He has one attacker. Mm. He had to block with both of them to kill him. And he'd lose a guy. So we would trade. Um. I think he's better as a blocker. We could make him trade with this guy. I'll do that. Yep, that's what he's gonna do. Alright, so what's he got? Not a goblin grenade? Nope. Alright, so this guy will not be able to attack anymore. You can block, but you can't attack. And we got a spell to make our stuff cheaper. Not that we needed that, but that's fine. So he's at six. If we attack with everything, he could block one, then he would just die. So I think we can just swing in here for lethal. Because I don't think he can do anything. 
He could surprise me, but I don't think he can do anything here. <clears throat> and even if he had a remove, I still don't think it would matter. He's going to block that, which will trade, and then he's going to take lethal. Alright, so we defeated Cranko. Didn't see Cranko or CGN Commander. Good thing we didn't see CGN Commander because we would have died. So we got another Liliana Shade. And we've unlocked the Cranko deck, which we'll be able to use next time. And that is it. So I hope you all enjoyed this battle. And be sure to come back next time when we do play as the Cranko deck on whatever the next thing we unlock is. I'm not sure if it's a challenge or an encounter or what. But I do hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you all later.